My name is Juvenalis Chalo, and uh, I'm uh, one of the key hairstylists in, in this nation. And besides being a hairstylist, it's a high time I was asking myself, what else really can I do? And uh, in, the, uh, in the verge of asking myself, what else can I really do? I discovered my purpose, which is uh, now going to the streets and touching lives. And that's where Street Nasers was born 10 years ago. And uh, Street Nasers is, is an in initiative that uh, took up, took up the streets, big street boys, rehabilitate them. Because uh, myself, I'm one of the person who was in the drugs, in the, I would call myself a street boy because of the life that I went through a couple of years ago. And uh, I realized it's, uh, it's some of these things you go through are the same things that you come in your tomorrow and be able to lift other people in the same situation. The history lasers began 10 years ago, that is uh, 2005, and I remember very well, it is June 16. And June 16 is a day when Africa celebrates the day of the African child. Boy child is in much need of our support and our help. And the boy child has been neglected a lot. And in the, in the, in the aspect of offering the program to the boy child, is uh, rehabilitating the boy child from drugs, mentoring them to be good fathers for tomorrow, showing them the ways that they should follow. And uh, besides rehabilitation of drugs, we also connect the young men to go to school, get education because when they get the education, they get the knowledge. And as we know, education is power and knowledge is power. So I'm seeing the change that I want to see in the next generation to come. Streetlizers has been offering the, the, the really the, the child championing for the boy child so that the boy child can really discover who he is in the society and of course get a lead in the society of today. And uh, besides the, the besides the fighting for the boy child, a couple of challenges to really make these young men understand. Convincing the young men from the streets to come out of the streets becomes a big challenge. And of course, working with his mind becomes also another big challenge. And also feeding this young man, putting the upkeep together, the basic needs, the accommodation, the rent, issues about education, clothing the young man. Even for the boys themselves, they are not really uh, set for the change. So working on such things really requires a lot of patience, which I think I have, because for 10 years, it has really been a fight and also the persistence and, and the, the bottom line is to show them the love that they need and the acceptance. Well, apart from the challenges that I've been going through for the last 10 years, I, really be, I would really, really say I'm so proud to speak about the success stories because out of the many boys who have gone through the street nasers, I've seen the young men changing their attitude, becoming positive, and also changing to the way they see life and embracing life itself. And of course, discovering who they are. And that has really made me feel good about it. And also, towards education, because when these young men go to the education system, I'm seeing a change, I'm seeing a positive change. And especially we have one boy at the University of Masinda Morido right now. We also have boys who are working in IT. And uh, I would say it's beautiful. Yes, the impact really created by the boys from the Street Nasers Ministry is just quite high because we have been voted by NEMA as the very key people in keeping of the environment, planting of trees and just cleaning the environment around the community and people engaging us in the community work, in schools, in hospitals and also in around the surrounding areas of administration. It's just a good thing to watch them who they were and who they are and how the society now is embracing the same young men because times were there when they were not being embraced and now things have really changed. Among that we have also been able to really come up with an initiative by the name Talanta Foundation whereby it's an initiative of the Street Nasers Ministry within the premises of the Street Nasers whereby this will bring up to over a thousand young people with talent and skills engage them in singing, dancing and just discovering their talents and it has really been uh, a success because for the last four years we have seen growth in it, we have seen a lot of young people discovering who they are in terms of skills and talents.
Yeah, as I said, uh, some of the activities and duties and the responsibilities in fetching of the water. And uh, over here we have our borehole, whereby the boys are doing every single day. Come and give them water. This is uh, Samuel Bogra, who is now in charge of the water. It's a deep borehole. So they, they, they need enough water from the kitchen. Yeah. So somewhere. Samuel, so meet me meet na Juvenaris for talent show. After you talk to perform, you talk to Kabonga na e. But by then you go na meet na e. Go a certain group to na Jitarem. So go na Kucha na Kumelesha. Na tuzi ni na kai so but kuna demo ja it was not like the other days. I come back ni pinpoint. Kabonga na e moja it was not easy to do things. Yeah, I really want to acknowledge and appreciate God for that grace that He has really given me to be able to stay with the boys from different communities, different languages, different tribes, and just become one big family. And also, I'm appreciative for the non-government organizations who are all about street nizers in media, in different ways of advertisements, and also friends of street nizers, individuals, families. We've just become a big family because by your support of school fees, food, clothing, just coming to talk to the boys, I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful because if it was not for you. We couldn't be where we are, and also I want to thank the Kenyan government. At least now, with the new government system and the constitution, they have put ways on how to tackle the street families in this country. I'm really grateful for that, and also the county government because you know, very soon the money that has been dispersed for the, the the street children rehabilitation centers will really reach to the grassroots, and also our leadership. I know now things are really changing. And uh, with the change, there is the, of course the the eat, and and I know things shall work well for better of this nation. And I'm grateful for all of you. And let's team up, not only to take care of the boy child, but also to extend our hand to the culture and be able to impact the culture in this nation. Uh, thank you so much. And uh, as we team up for the next generation, we shall see this dream going to the next level. Thank you so much, and God bless you.